Have you ever pondered the environmental cost of warfare? It's a question that's rarely asked. We're all familiar with the immediate human casualties of war, the lives lost, the families torn apart. But there's another victim that often goes unnoticed, one that doesn't make headlines. It's the environment, the very stage upon which these tragedies play out. From the ancient times to the present day, every conflict leaves an indelible mark on the environment. Forests are raised, rivers are polluted, and ecosystems are irreversibly disrupted. And the effects linger long after the last gunshot echoes into silence. The environmental toll of war is a silent casualty, a collateral damage that doesn't discriminate. It affects us all, regardless of nationality, creed or colour. It's a global issue, a crisis that transcends borders and generations. So, as we delve into this topic, remember this. The environment, too, is a war victim, suffering silently and profoundly. The environmental toll of warfare is not a new phenomenon. Let's turn back the pages of history to when empires clashed on the ancient battlefields. The Romans, for instance, had a rather sinister strategy they employed after defeating their enemies. They would salt the earth, rendering it barren and incapable of producing crops. A cruel method of ensuring a conquered city could not rise again. And then there were the Mongols, whose vast invasions led to an unprecedented scale of deforestation. As they swept across continents, they left behind swathes of devastated woodland. The environmental impact was so significant that it can still be measured today. These examples serve as a stark reminder that the environment has always been an unintended casualty of warfare. From the salted fields of Carthage to the deforested expanses of Asia, the scars of ancient warfare still mark our planet. The seeds of environmental warfare were sown centuries ago. The advent of industrialization added a new dimension to the environmental impact of wars. As the world began to industrialize in the late 18th century, so too did the machinery of war. The Industrial Revolution brought about a shift from traditional handcrafted weaponry to mass-produced, increasingly destructive arms. This surge in production not only enabled larger, more devastating conflicts, but it also left an indelible mark on our planet. With the onset of World War I, chemical weapons were introduced to the battlefield. Chlorine gas, mustard gas, phosgene, these names are etched into the annals of history, not just for the horror they inflicted upon soldiers, but also for the lasting damage they dealt to the environment. These poisonous gases seeped into the soil and water systems, causing long-term contamination and disrupting ecosystems for countless years. Fast forward a few decades to World War II. The devastation wrought by this conflict extended far beyond the visible destruction of cities and infrastructures. The environmental damage was, once again, profound and enduring. The nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, for instance, caused immediate and long-term environmental harm. Radioactive fallout contaminated the soil, water and air, causing a myriad of health problems for the local population and wildlife. And let's not forget about the widespread deforestation caused by the need for timber to support the war effort. Or the pollution from factories working overtime to produce armaments. All these elements combined to create a devastating environmental toll. The Industrial Revolution, for all its societal advancements, brought with it a darker side. It enabled warfare on a scale never before seen and with it environmental destruction of an equally unprecedented magnitude. From the poisoning of our water and soil to the irradiation of entire cities and the decimation of forests, the industrialization of war has left a lasting damaging imprint on our planet. Industrialization amplified the environmental echo of warfare, leaving a legacy that lingers. In the contemporary era, the environmental casualties of war have reached unprecedented levels. Let's take a journey back to the Vietnam War, a conflict infamous for its use of a herbicide and defoliant chemical called Agent Orange. This chemical was deployed not only to remove the dense forest cover, but also to deprive the enemy of their food sources. The aftermath, however, was devastating, resulting in widespread deforestation and biodiversity loss. The chemical pollutants also infiltrated the water supply, causing long-term health issues for the local population and even generations yet unborn. Fast forward to the Gulf War in the early 90s. The environmental consequences were equally distressing, if not more so. 
One of the war's most enduring images is that of the sky blackened by smoke from hundreds of oil wells set ablaze. The intentional oil spills led to an ecological catastrophe, affecting marine life and birds, contaminating the coastline and causing long-term damage to the region's fragile desert ecosystem. But it's not just these large-scale wars that wreak havoc on the environment. Smaller insurgencies and civil wars also leave their mark. For instance, in various parts of the world, illegal logging and mining activities fund armed groups, leading to deforestation and habitat loss. These activities also contribute to climate change, further exacerbating the environmental crisis. The environmental toll of modern warfare is a growing concern, particularly as conflicts become more drawn out and destructive. This damage is not just confined to the war zones, but also affects global environmental health and contributes to the broader climate crisis. The impact of war extends far beyond the human casualties and the destruction of cities and towns. It also includes the silent victims, the forests, the animals, the air we breathe and the water we drink. It's a grim reminder that the consequences of war reverberate long after the guns fall silent and the treaties are signed. The scars of recent wars on our planet are deep and may never fully heal. The environmental toll of war is a narrative written in the scars of our planet. From the days of ancient warfare to the modern age of industrial conflict, the destructive power of war has left indelible marks on our environment. The silent casualty of war, our environment bears the brunt of our conflicts and the damage is often long-lasting and significant. The deforestation caused by ancient warfare, the pollution resulting from industrialized conflict and the environmental devastation of modern wars. These are the chapters of a story that continues to unfold. But this narrative need not be our destiny. We have the power to change the course of this tale. To consider the environmental cost of conflict is to take the first step towards a more sustainable and peaceful world. Let us advocate for peace. Let us champion the cause of environmental preservation. Because after all, every war is a war against the environment. Let peace and preservation be our battle cry.